Welcome to Aussie Indian, and I'm here at the office of uh, Minister Ray Williams, uh, who is the Minister for Multiculturalism and Disability Services. Minister, thanks for finding time to talk to Aussie Indian. It's a pleasure, Raj. Great to be here, and Namaste. Thank you very much. And uh, you are, uh, uh, first of all, let me congratulate you on your appointment. Thank you very much. It's a, it's a great honour. It's, uh, it's especially a great honour, uh, given the work and that you'll remember that we, uh, we did in uh, many of the diverse yes. communities between 2007 yeah, and 2011. So I am renewing, renewing some great networks and some great friends. Yeah, uh, we are uh, very glad to have you as uh, Minister for Multiculturalism. And uh, your first assignment to, uh, was to open this new office in Parameter. What prompted uh, the uh, Ministry to uh, make that shift from CBD to Parramatta? Look, we recognise, Raj, as you would well know, that Parramatta is very much the cultural heart of multiculturalism in New South Wales, and we wanted to ensure that we had an offer that, office that was uh, accessible um, to all diverse communities, and we thought that Parramatta would be the perfect place. Mm. Well, many of the people whom I meet uh, joke about Parramatta as the Indian suburb of Australia. Would you agree? Well, there's a great population of, uh, of Australian Indians out there and uh, many of my friends. And uh, if you ever want a good meal of Indian, there's no better place to go than Harris Park or Parramatta. Uh, absolutely. And uh, do you think that this new office in Parramatta would uh, service the needs of uh, the Indian community in particular and all Australian communities in general? Because uh, Western Sydney is the hub of uh, ethnic communities in Australia. Absolutely, and, and it is there, Raj. It is uh, very much a centre of excellence in terms of its support for the many diverse communities, not only in the Sydney metropolitan area, but broadly across New South Wales. Uh, it is well equipped. Uh, we have some wonderful staff and some wonderful resources, and uh, I think uh, that uh, many of our people in the community will recognise immediately that there is a place to reach out if, if they need, and there will certainly be those support services that will be offered uh, should they require them. Mm, yep. Well, uh, the thing is that uh, uh, we would uh, obviously like to see more done in terms of uh, community relations uh, for various reasons. Uh, as uh, Minister for Multiculturalism, what's your vision to improve that relationship between communities uh, in future? Look, Raj, we have established some wonderful partnerships and I, I think there is no better way to break down the cultural and religious barriers than through sport. Uh, we know, uh, particularly in the Indian community, how they love their cricket. And so we have partnered uh, with uh, Sydney Thunder. We have also partnered with the AFL and the GWS Giants and, and also with the NRL. And so through sport, we are bringing communities together, uh, particularly on behalf of our younger populations, to show them that we are a truly an inclusive society, and then uh, spreading that message across the rest of New South Wales uh, that this is the cultural heart uh, of uh, this country, and that we want to ensure that we are promoting social cohesion and harmony right across those many, many diverse communities. Mm. Well, uh, talking about sports uh, breaking down the barriers, uh, sometimes it seems, seems to boil over if you see the Western Sydney Wanderers games. Uh, some of the things that uh, have happened in the recent past have hit the headlines. Uh, so obviously there is an advice to those communities to uh, enjoy the game, but uh, uh, be within limits, don't you think? Right, Raj, absolutely. And, and look, you've touched on something that, that is so important in Australia. 99.9% .9 of the people who live in this country are hardworking, law-abiding citizens that are making a positive contribution to this country. They've each together built what is undoubtedly a great Australian culture and we are the envy of the world and each and every one of us should be very, very proud of this culture that we have created here in this particular country. Sadly, there will be some that will breach our laws and our values are very much defined by our laws and our legislation. When people break those laws, regardless of who they are, they should be punished. But sometimes we tend to focus too much on the bad news stories, which are, which are so very, very small. They're a very, very small minority. We need, I think, and it will be certainly my role as multiculturalism minister, to promote the great aspects of our community. And I'm not just talking about our, our great sportsmen um, or, our, or our wonderful actors like Dev Patel, but, but rather I will be promoting the everyday mums and dads, the, the doctors, uh, the lawyers, the teachers, the nurses, the policemen uh, that are spread across all of diversity in this particular country. 
They are the people that should be the role models and very much are the role models on behalf of diverse communities. And I think it's about time that we started talking about the wonderful positive aspects of this country rather than the very, very minute amount of problems that we have because that is the reason that this is such a successful country. Mm. Having said that, uh, we have seen uh, in the recent years, I should say in the last five to ten years, there is uh, this uh, growth of extremism, uh, mistrust, uh, violence in uh, various countries, uh, including our own city, if you remember. Uh, what role do you think the community, especially the community leaders, can play in bringing some sense to these communities and rejecting those extremist ideas? Well, well, gladly, Raj, I have reached out in the very, very short time that I have been the Minister for Multiculturalism. Uh, I have spoken to many, many of our community leaders across many, many diverse communities, and I've got to say that they are playing a very, very positive role. And they are actually talking about the same thing that I'm talking about, that there are so many positive things to talk about in their communities, and they're encouraging their young people through sports, uh, through social interaction, to embrace the opportunities that this country has and, and to not dwell on the, the small amount of problems that they see around the world, but rather embrace the positive opportunities that are here in this particular country. And look, we're having great success. But when we talk about community leaders, it's not just the distinct community leaders, but it's also our principals in our schools, the police that are playing a positive role, um, our, our sporting associations. Everybody is playing a very, very positive role in ensuring that we improve the social cohesion and harmony right across our community. For example, the homegrown terrorism has hit the headlines in the recent times. And uh, obviously, this is something which uh, uh, not only affects the communities, it uh, affects the country and its image outside. And uh, I was wondering what can communities do to bring some sense to those youngsters who are harboring on such ideas, uh, like you mentioned, in schools and in uh, community uh, uh, forums and so on and so forth, what advice would you give such people, especially the parents of those young people, to uh, nip such ideas in the bud? Look, I would encourage them, Raj, to, to reach out to their community leaders, um, even reaching out to their school principals and maybe even their teachers, even reaching out to the police, because we have some wonderful partnerships with all of those people playing a positive role in those communities. Um, yes, there will be from time to time a small number of, of young people um, that will have mixed messages and interpret those mixed messages in the wrong way. Our role is to ensure that we are promoting to those people that this is a great country, that there are, uh, there are, or there is every nationality around the world that has helped build this great Australian culture, and and they are all they are all on our on the one side. They're all on our side. They're all on the Australian side, and they as Australians should be proud of the fact that they're part of this great Australian team that we've created together. And so I think if they're fostering those positive messages and that they are ensuring that those young people are not straying off and have you know misrepresentations or misinterpretations you know of particular problems that are around the world, I think. I think we will, we will always ensure that Australia remains the great harmonious country that it is. Mm. Some of the political parties you thought mentioning the names are preaching uh, banning migration from a particular uh, sections of the community and uh, this doesn't uh, obviously uh, help in build, building the community relations. So what's your message to those uh, political parties which are harboring these extreme views, extreme right views? Raj, uh, we are looked upon, Australia is looked upon as the greatest migration program that has ever been undertaken in the world. And we each and every one of us should be very, very proud of what we've created here in this particular country. There are other countries around the world that just marvel at what we've been able to create here. And, and it, it has only been achieved through the acceptance and, and respect and harmonious relations of every nationality who have chosen to make Australia their home. So there's, there's a message here. There's a message not just here for this country, there's a message for the world. Out of respect uh, and out of courtesy, I mean, we have built a great country. And, and, I, and I think if other countries were to embrace what we've done here in this particular country, the world would be a better place. Mm -hmm. And of course, now coming to some of the festivities that you 
uh, celebrate in uh, Parliament House. Uh, we used to see the Deepavali celebrations in uh, Parliament House before. You might have seen a few of them and uh, also other uh, festivities of uh, ethnic communities especially. Uh, would you be supporting continuation of those uh, festivities uh, in future? Absolutely. And of course, uh, we have one very, very important uh, uh, festival coming up that, uh, that you would know, Raj, and that's certainly Paramasala. Um, and through our investment uh, of uh, $1.6 million, we will be supporting Paramasala right through until 2020. Uh, a great event. Uh, many, many thousands of uh, Australian Indians will, will flock to this cultural heart of uh, this country in Parramatta and, and celebrate what is a, a wonderful festival. But we will also be supporting many other festivals and I myself will be attending uh, many of those particular uh, diverse communities and, and festivals that they hold. There is a Greek festival coming up uh, in, in Sydney at Darling Harbour uh, towards the end of this month, um, only two weeks ago. We travelled out to, to Fairfield. We had that huge Tet Festival on behalf of the Vietnamese community. So I do my best, uh, mm. as I have done in the past, Raj, to, to get around and support all of those communities and those wonderful festivals and cultural events events that they hold each and every year. Mm. Multicultural New South Wales, of course, has been playing a fantastic role, but in the recent times, I've heard some complaints about uh, some of the members of uh, the administration uh, are uh, uh, taking sides and uh, playing political games with uh, the community. So would you be having a look at that? Uh, Raj, uh, I, I can assure everybody that uh, my office, Multicultural New South Wales, are there to support all communities are there to support all communities equally and uh, and uh, I just want to reinforce that that uh, every person in this state will be treated equally as they should be every person that is working hard uh, that is making a positive contribution to this state should be valued and are valued not only by myself but certainly by the New South Wales government mm. well your uh, predecessor Victor Dominillo started this uh, ethnic media uh, invitations. We, we never used to get uh, media alerts from the government circles before, both federal and state. But now, uh, thanks to that initiative that we are in fact involved in the uh, media uh, quite a bit now, uh, what's your uh, idea of ethnic media being involved in uh, this uh, affairs of uh, the state? Well, well, Raj, it, it is, it is uh, an opportunity for governments to be able to express their policy out to the broader community. And, and we should be engaging with as much ethnic media as we can, and we certainly welcome it. And so I extend an invitation not only to yourself at any time to, uh, to come and have a chat, discuss any issues that you have, but certainly to to other ethnic media because I think it is equally important if we are treating everyone equally as we, we well should, uh, we should be expressing our views and our policy ideas broadly across each and every community. Mm -hmm. You are a sports enthusiast. The Australian cricket team is now touring India and doing very well. They won the first test. Oh, we're, we're, spanking who, who is right. <laughs> we're, we're, we're spanking you at the moment. You're in big trouble on the continent. And, and, and you know how hard it is to win on the continent. I mean, India is very tough at home, but uh, gee, we've uh, we started off in a great way. But you know, you, know, you, you, you get the best of both worlds. I mean, you, 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 can't, you can't lose, can you? You can barrack for both teams here. You always Absolutely. come up a winner. Absolutely. And I <laughs> am supporting the winner, the Auss Aussies now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, you know, that's, it, it is the wonderful thing, you know, in the, the uh, Australian Indian community, they love their cricket and, uh, and we love our cricket and so that is one thing that really does bring us together. Minister, thanks for talking to us, Indian. Pleasure, Roger.